Welcome to East Coast Health Reviews. Today, we are at Beer Tuba Palooza 2023. This is the vlog video. All right, we're on a tripod, but we got Steven on the grill, Engineering. doing some steaks. Sean, Nerd Sense. Mike from Nerd Sense back there. Joe, we got Matt, Massive Beer Reviews. We're all just kind of hanging out. We're about to do some uh, beer reviews. So uh, yeah, stick around and uh, yeah, hopefully some more cool stuff coming up next. Cheers. All right, so we just got to Fox Farm Brewery. Everybody's walking in. Uh, very similar looking to um, like Tilted Barn. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get some stuff, uh, some draft pours, possibly bring home some stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll get another, uh, you know, uh, shot of the inside, what the inside of the brewery looks like. But uh, yeah, this is day two. Saturday, really uh, wasn't able to get much footage. Um, yesterday, because uh, it was getting a little bit darker, so it was very hard to kind of film. So uh, yeah, see you guys inside. Cheers. Right, so I got there uh, near and far. It's definitely, um, it's got like that papaya, kind of dank, earthy, herbaceous note. Uh, probably gonna have to mute the inside because there was some music playing, but a very, very nice brewery on the inside. Now we're just kind of walking around the back. See, they got some barrels here. That's actually really cool. Just notice these. Let's get a close up of what's in them. Yeah, overall, I'm enjoying it here. Um, pours weren't that bad. I think this was like seven bucks. I think this is possibly like a 12 ounce. But then they had some other really, uh, really well-priced beers. How much was your beer? Uh, oh, okay, so what would it have been? Mine was seven for a full. Not bad. What's I, up? Their prices were actually really good. Yeah, yeah, for the pours, it's pretty solid price. This is yeah, like stitch definitely. So, we just got back to Stevens not too long ago. Uh, we checked out Pleasant Pizza, which is really cool. It was uh, BYOB, so we actually brought some beers over there. Um, fantastic pizza, for sure. Right down the street from Stevens, is literally like walking distance at the end of his road. And uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna get into some beer reviews. Um, so yeah, cheers guys. So we're all just hanging out. Steven's got a fire going. We did a bunch of beer reviews. Got you over there. The draw is the brand. The brand. That's why the boxer makes so much. Yeah, having a good time, hanging out, watching UFC, got the fire going. Uh, tons of beer reviews. Definitely having a great time. Um, kind of forgetting about doing the vlog. So I just gotta, you know, keep up with it. Trying to. Um, beer reviews have been awesome. Some phenomenal beers once again this year. And uh, yeah, 
Hopefully, uh, you guys check out the beer reviews, uh, Nerd Sense, uh, Mike and Sean, uh, Matt, Mass Beer Reviews, uh, Steven, just hanging out. Uh, yes, those are the channels. Joe doesn't have a channel. His wife, it's with his wife, you know, but they don't have a channel. But, uh, yeah, choose a one. Welcome back. It is now Sunday morning. Just got the car loaded up. Uh, yeah, really fun time. Beer Tuba Palooza has been uh, awesome. Um, going home with some pretty cool beers. Uh, kind of just let everyone, you know, kind of just take what they wanted of my stash, and that's kind of how it was with everyone else. So, uh, Steven hooked me up with some really nice bottles. Definitely gonna show and present all of them at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, it's Sunday, everyone's kind of just wrapping it up, winding down, bringing their stuff out to their cars, you know? And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Thank you. Uh, mystery beers, tons of those being passed around as well. Shout out to Mike. Cheers, Mike. And uh, yeah, see you guys uh, after. All right, so I'm back at the house. Uh, I brought all my beers inside. I still have some stuff in the car. Um, got home probably like an hour ago. Uh, I actually stopped at Fox Farm, grabbed a couple more beers uh, before I came back down over here. Um, I will say Fox Farm is a very nice place to visit. I feel like there's not as much hype about them as there should be because they really have like a great variety. I think my favorite thing about them as well was the fact that whatever you purchased as far as whatever style, they would give you a specific glass for that style. You can get half pours, full pours, and all their prices were actually pretty good. Um, it was like, some are like six bucks, some are a little bit higher than others. Uh, $7 for, I think it was a double IPA. Um, I think they gave you like a 12 ounce pour. Not bad at all. Uh, they actually, um, had a really nice barrel aged imperial stout and I had that so I actually had to go back that's kind of why I went back to go get a bottle of that but uh yeah so I'm gonna present to you guys what I got so this is all that I came back with is that votive I was talking about uh, imperial stout aged in bourbon and rum barrels actually um, a couple of these bottles I had already brought. Uh, we actually drank, I believe it was a double barrel one of version of this. Steven gave me this one, single barrel, I believe he said. Also gave me this other cool uh, treehouse stout. We got the Verona Norwegian style farmhouse ale. Grab that when I was at Fox Farm. Uh, Gillian? This was given to me by Steven. This is uh, Goose Island, but it is their Belgian style farmhouse ale. And I believe there's some other stuff in it as well. Uh, this is Crime Stone. Let's see, ale with peppers and, oh. Peppers added and aged in bourbon barrels. So, uh, yeah, those are the bombers, or the, not bombers, some of them are bombers, some are 12 ounce bottles, but. Those are like the bottles that I got. And then, I believe this was given to me from Steven as well. These are all from Revolution Brewing. Uh, so overall, I think I brought back, I think it was like 49 beers. I brought two cases. And then yeah, everybody just kind of dispersed at the end. There was a lot of beer for sure. Um, Straight Jacket Barley Wine, Aged in Bourbon Barrels, Coconut Joy, New England Brewing Co. Uh, Imperial Stout Trooper, that sounds really interesting. That one's got like peanut butter in it, I believe. I was really uh, excited to see that. Stout with peanut butter and chocolate added. Looks really good. Then we got, what's this? Uh, Death's Tar, Stout, Aged in Bourbon Barrels. All these are really high ABV as well. Um, the straight jacket is 15.8. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. 14.8 uh, on the Death Star. It's 
Coconut Joy is 6.5. Porter with Coconut, Madagascar, Vanilla, and Cacao Nibs. That sounds really good. Um, Imperial Stout Trooper Stout. Uh, 9.5. So, pretty good solid ABV. A um, couple beers that I grabbed. I got some of these when I went back to Fox Farm. Double Burst, Double IPA. 8.3. Uh, Mars and Lager by them, 6%. Uh, this is their Helmhold Dunkel. I had that. They serve it to you in a Stein. It's really good. I actually was kind of getting a little bit of like a, um, almost like, it was like toasty to the point where it was almost smoky, but it wasn't like necessarily smoky. But it was uh, really good. I'm actually drinking this. Uh, this is their Little Brook. It's an American Blonde or Hop Forward American Blonde. Looks very good in the glass, I will say. Very citrusy, lots of pineapple, citrusy tangerine combined with that pineapple. This is a, it's actually a really good beer and it's only 4.6%. I don't know if I saw that. There was, um, I wanted to get Ray's, which was, I think it was a wheat beer. Yeah, that, that was their wheat beer. But they were sold out of the cans, so that was a little unfortunate. Uh, but I did have it on draft, and it was phenomenal. Uh, this is pretty good, too. I do like this. All right. What do we got next? Um, mystery beer from Matt. Matt's beers. This I brought. Vanilla beans, space and time. Just brought it back with me. Russian Imperial Stout with vanilla. Steven gave me this. New Park Brewing. Hopiary. Double IPA, Cafe Death, this was given to me by Steven as well, Imperial Stout with coffee, this is 14.8, so all these Revolution Bruins, I think all are like really high ABVs, it's awesome, uh, this was given to me by Matt, um, I have never had Jolly Pumpkin Art Artisan Ales, so I'm like super, uh, super excited to try he gave me this one by them. Uh, I.O. Saison. Rose Hips, Rose Petals, Hibiscus. Interesting. There's actually a Hibiscus Juice Agua Frescas that I buy from work all the time. So I'm not uh, knocking Hibiscus. I actually do enjoy it. I do like the flavor. Um, what else we got over here? Mystery Beer from Sean in the Paper Towel. Or Sean and Mike, Nerd Sense. Uh, Joe. Uh, this was his one of his um, cans that don't have labels. One is either a s'more stout, and one's a, either a peanut butter stout, something like that. Um, oh, Gather, I grabbed that as well. Fox Farm, that's their German Pilsner. Uh, this is Whisper, I actually brought that. Branch of Blade, Stampede, I brought that. The old Man, I brought. Um, Old Man's really good though. Uh, I think I gave Steven and whoever else grabbed some a can because I thought that was really good ESB. Uh, then I also got the Dwell Pale Ale. Another really cool thing that I didn't mention about Fox Farm was that you could buy single cans. You didn't have to buy four packs, which is really nice. Um, and they weren't expensive. They weren't super expensive. Maybe like three to four dollars. I think the double IP was the was the most expensive out of the cans. It was like five fifty, which isn't bad for a double. You figure. Um, most of the other ones were around like four dollars, so not bad at all. We got the three little fires. We actually drank one, but nobody. Uh, oh no, two little fires. Sorry. So somebody must have grabbed one of those. No wait, there is there is three, <laughs> three little fires. So we drank one. I thought for sure that somebody was going to take one of those. That was a smoked Hellas Lager. Another beer that Matt gave me, the uh, Jolly Pumpkin, another one of those. This is a Saison. Um, this uh, Levante, uh, the brewery that Joe works for. This is his brand, the Levante here. And this is their Escalante, which is a Mexican style lager, which I tried and was actually really good. I did enjoy that. Um, this Burling beer I got from Matt. Uh, Burling, is it Bur No, it's Burlington. 
had their beers before. Uh, Burlington, Burlington Beer Company, and they're out of Vermont. Seven percent. It is a. Can I see the style? It's their ninth anniversary uh, Maybach. So that's cool. Uh, another one of those mysteries uh, from Joe. Could either be the peanut butter or the s'more. Um, got a few more four packs here. We got the Fruit Frenzy that I brought, which was pretty much a triple IPA with some adjuncts in it. I think strawberry, uh, mango, kiwi, and lactose. Brought this. Surprised nobody wanted to try the Spyglass. I was definitely thought that someone would have grabbed that. Um, Spyglass makes awesome stuff. Outlier. Kolsch brought that. That is a really good one. I got a Bruno McCann of Julius. A little machine, two of those that I brought. Um, and then the rest of these I brought too. I'm surprised nobody uh, grabbed one of the uh, Andromedas. The double IPA, Trios double IPA. Doing a terrible job presenting. This Andromeda, here we go. Yeah, it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty solid. Still have three cans there. And then uh, this throwback. This was their Hog Happy Hefweizen. So, yeah, I'm all stocked up. I have got some good beers to do reviews on. Those bombers are super interesting. I think probably mo for the most part, like the stouts or like high ABV stuff, I'll probably end up drinking with either Eric or Bumpy or whoever I hang out with. Um, try to share them rather than just kind of drink a whole one on my own. I do definitely like sharing the Imperial Stouts. That was definitely one of the best aspects of trying them but you don't have to drink a whole bottle of them um but yeah overall it was a real fun time uh yeah definitely shout out to everybody that was there a little bit smaller of a group this year but still had a blast still had a great time and uh hope to do it again next year for sure so uh yeah there you have it um if you guys got any comments or uh, let me know if you visited fox farm yourself if you've been in there their beers are awesome uh, doing bear shares like this are really nice because typically as far as like the group that I kind of hang out with around here not super big into beer they're not like craft beer nerds like I am and those guys are so it is really nice to take one year I mean one year to take one weekend out of the year and kind of just get together and do some tastings and have a lot of fun enjoy uh, just good craft beer you know and uh, actually I did bring a bottle of Weller 107 to find out that Steven had like seven of them, but hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully more people can come next year and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So if there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Leave a beer. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.